TerraFractal lets you make fractal images using a control area that visually represents a mathematical system. The transform panel shows you what's going on behind the scenes, but you don't need to know anything about fractal math to use TerraFractal. In this demo, I'll try to make a shrub or some kind of leafy plant. I'll start by dragging this blue box, which will represent the shrub repeatedly branching to the right. I'll use the rotation wheel to adjust the angle at which it repeats. And I can make the box smaller and more narrow by dragging its control square. Next I'll adjust the green box. When I hold the option key, the control square turns into a circle and now controls the rotation of the box as well as its size. Since the fractal image is always updated in real time, it's easy to fine tune these adjustments until it looks just right. Now we need a stem to hold this plant together. To do this, I'll just click the Add button to add another box. I'll make it pretty narrow, about like that, and I'll try to find a good place for it just by looking at the fractal here. I think I'll adjust this blue side more. That looks nice. Finally, let's make the colors look more realistic. I'll start with the top box and just click this color well. I want the shrub to get greenish yellow towards the tips, so I'll find a suitable color. I'll make the left branches a darker green and uh, the right ones dark green as well. For the stem, I'll choose a rich brown. Nice. Now, let's export a high-resolution version of this lovely fractal. I'll name it Shrub. And then I can choose the width and height of the image, and the number of iterations, which controls how vivid the image will look. Let's export. And now I have a high-quality image, which I can print out, import into other documents, or put on the web.